Ken came into the high school as a, you know, a fairly well-known football, basketball, baseball kid and you know, did two years of football and uh, coming into his junior year decided that it just wasn't, you know, wasn't for him anymore. In the springtime of his sophomore year had, you know, I don't know if jokingly or seriously kind of, you know, a couple times told me, hey, I'm going to come out and, and play goalie for you next year because he knew we were light in that position. Uh, I kind of laughed it off, didn't really think much of it, and then uh, summer kind of went along, didn't really hear much from him, and then literally at about 6 o'clock the night before we opened practice, mom called me and said, what do I need to get so he's cleared to practice tomorrow. It's kind of funny, you know, Coach Glenn, he just, he texted me, he was like, you want to come on and try out? I said, yeah, sure, why not? I played FIFA and the video games and things like that, you know, why not give it a shot? The first few practices, I, you know, I showed up to to tryouts, no gloves, with my football cleats on. You know, I was going out there trying to save the ball. Had never really played soccer before, and just kind of taught him on the fly. Like, you're going to hop in goal, stop ball from going in. Simple as that. Over the last two years, last two seasons, he's just, you know, kind of grown by leaps and bounds where uh, I really do feel that he's one of the top goalkeepers in our conference this year. Uh, it shows, you know, he's only given up two goals this year through seven games. Well, I've played three sports throughout all of high school, and I think that's really helped me in the classroom, you know, being more organized, and it's helped me outside of the classroom as well. There's certain things you can take away from each sport, from soccer and basketball. You know, there's the footwork aspect, and there's a bunch of other things that carry on from each sport to the next. And uh, I think playing three sports has really helped me. He's very low key, very quiet, doesn't say much. Um, you'll find a lot of a lot of good goalkeepers are on that exact opposite spectrum. You know, they're a little bit crazy. Uh, yeah, I think you'll find that in any any goalkeeper position, whether it's hockey, it's soccer, uh, catchers, and baseball. It's different with Ken in that he's so he's he's just a quiet. I'm going to go out there and do my job, and and that's going to be enough for us to uh, you know for him to be successful with it.